I hate face masks. I've hated them since, since I was working with my dad in construction and would have to wear them sometimes. Yeah, like ever since I was like 16 or something like that. So these last couple weeks, we've been talking about how at the school I work at, everybody's going to have to wear face masks at the beginning of the next school year because we're doing school from home for the rest of this school year. And come August, face masks all the time. So, I've got to figure out a more comfortable face mask. Um, face masks, the, the number one problem I have with them is that since I wear glasses, and even when I'm not wearing glasses, because I, I sometimes wear contacts, the, when I breathe, it blows up into my eyes. I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, so... I've tried several face mask patterns. The face mask that I made a couple videos ago, I gave to my sister because she needed one. And um, it also was blowing up into my eyes. So I'm trying to figure out how to make that work. And for those of you who don't know, the way things fit is very, very important to me. I will obsess about it a lot. So. Here we go. All right. I have tried one, two, three, four, five, six fitted face mask patterns. Um, five of them in this last week, kind of. And I still have, I think, another three more that I want to try. So here we go. All right. This is the first one that I made. This is what the pattern looks like. Okay, and so this is number one. I'll try and put all of the links in the description. Um, and <clears throat> I put, I sew a channel. So this is the first one I made a couple weeks ago, actually. I sew a channel right here so that I can put a pipe cleaner that's folded in half. So there's, there's two, it's not two pipe cleaners. It's one folded in half. The folded end is over here and the uh, non one is over there. The non folded one is over there. So, um, this is nice. It, fits, it looks like it fits over my face properly. But look. Here on the side, the problem is <clears throat> that I, I... It's not right with my ear. Yeah. And so when I've worn it, it gets actually kind of painful because it, the, it'll be pulling down on my ear like this. And it still fogs up my glasses. All of these do. Um, however, I'm going to try something with tissue paper. I just haven't tried that yet. It was a suggestion from my doctor to try putting either like foam right here or just put a tissue right there. So anyways, it has a... it's pretty good. When I wear it for long periods of time, though, it does gape on the side. So um, I made this one so that it's open right here. It's just hemmed. And that way I can get to the pipe cleaner. Uh, or I could put another filter in there or whatever. I like being able to replace the pipe cleaner because I think it's going to break over time. Um, and these straps that I made... I put a little bit of elastic, because elastic is really hard to find these days. It's kind of crazy. Just so that it would have a little bit of give. Ah, it kind of works. Kind of. So, anyways. Then we have this style. Number two. And... Um, this one was designed so that way you could put like one of those hair ties on the corners. It's kind of, it's pretty good. Um, 
I mean, it's pretty good. It still fogs up my glasses. And let's see this one. This one I thought was really interesting because um, you, this is like the inside and this one's the outside and this part right here gets folded in to make the channel right here. I like, I like that idea. Most of these, these patterns actually do have the ability to put in a filter right there. But, um, when I was testing them this week, I didn't do that for most of them because I was just trying to get the test for the fit, like a prototype. And this one, I tried something that someone had suggested, um, where you make it adjustable for the ears, right? That makes it more comfortable. See, the problem, the problem is that it keeps going up and down. See? I could put it right here. Let's put my glass back on. But I like the idea of it. I like that it's got this channel on the side. So that's kind of how I did a lot of the rest of these actually, even if the pattern didn't say to do it that way. Um, this one is a lot more fitted, okay? Now there's like seven different sizes for this one. So what are we, number four? Number four, so this is number four. And I like this one because it has, well, you can measure it. You measure from, from here to here for the ear, for just before your ear for the measurement. And then from where your glasses would be down to where you want it to end for your chin. And it was very interesting. Me going around the house saying, I want to measure your face. My husband thought, my husband, asked me twice what like what did you say and my sister she was like what <laughs> so I've got them measured I measured this one for me um the disadvantage to this one is that because it has so many different sizes um if there'd be it's, it's a lot less universal you have to size it to people but this is the one that I wear when I've got to go to the store these days I tried another system where instead of having it go around the ear, I have, and instead of ties, it's like I have two bits of elastic. It's actually just one piece of elastic. And so it just stays on my face, which makes it very nice. Ugh, it doesn't. I like this one because of the way that the, the elastic goes. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about the ties coming undone. I don't have to worry about it starting to hurt behind my ears. It's, it's pretty comfortable. It's, I really like that a lot. If I was having to wear this all day, or when I get to the point where I'm making a mask for all day for teaching, I'm going to use that system because, you know, it works really well. Now, I think that it has a little bit too much space in here. Right here. But overall, it's there there it's one of the favorites like i said it's the one that i wear when i go to the store so um 
And then I have two of them that are slightly different. So all of these styles that I've had, one through five, they're more of like um, where there's just a round front, um, like this. Okay, these ones do shaping a little bit different way. This one here, where it has, it's got darts on the side and then a chin gusset. Where is the gusset? Okay. This creates a place for the chin, right? And then the darts bring this in. The problem is with this pattern, the reason I haven't finished it is that it's made to go over an N95 like this. You could wear it with, with or without an N95, but, um, but I think that the seam allowance for the dart is off. It says right here, it says right here, three eighths inch seam allowance, but then the actual stitching line is further in than that. And it says the same thing here. And I think it's too small with 3 8 inch seam allowance. So it just, it just doesn't, I'm going to fiddle around with this one some more. That's why I haven't, I haven't um, messed with it. But you can see this is 3 8 inch seam allowance. And it makes it so that the space between here and here is shorter. And I think it just needs to be a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll try it with like quarter inch seam allowance for that. Um, the, but it, you know, like it doesn't, it doesn't seem large enough to me. So that's why that one's not finished. And then this style right here, this style right here, it's got a dart up here and a, and a gusset. The gusset actually goes this way. Okay. And this one fits almost as well as that, that one where you have to measure. See? Um... So the two favorites when I was conferring with other people this week were this one that was really fitted and this one. Okay. So um, these are the two favorites when talking to people. This one is more of a universal thing. Um, and you could, I'm going to see... I'm going to see if putting in a metal piece right here would make a difference. The pattern didn't call for it. And so, and I, and because I was testing the fit, I didn't make it so it was accessible. It's cut off right there and there. Um, it, I need to see if I put a metal piece in there, if it's better at um, keeping my glasses from fogging up. I also need to see if um, when I put, instead of doing this thing with the ear loops, even though it's adjustable, it's pretty comfortable, if it can, if going around my head like that, like, like this one does, makes a difference. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make one of these today, but then um, make it so that there's a um, a, a way to put in a pipe cleaner there. So that probably means I'm going to have to do the part where it has the filter. So a lot of these patterns have the ability for you to be able to put in a filter. So um, today I'm going to show you how to do a dart. And the thing that's interesting about darts is that... Um, you can have a dart like this where you cut out things, or it can just not have anything cut out like that. Um, 
And the thing that's interesting about this chin gusset is that um, the curved part, the curved part has to match up to a straight part. So you have to either ease it in or, well, you pretty much have to ease it in. So I'm going to make one of these today. And um, because there weren't really any instructions for this one, if, um, so this is what, number six? One, two, three, four, five, six. This particular pattern is one that I, on the website, it looked like I had to buy it. And I, when I went through checkout, I didn't have to put in any credit card information or anything like that. But I did end up putting in my address and my email address. So maybe that would be a problem for you. Maybe you could find this pat this kind of pattern somewhere else. I don't know. But it is probably the one that I'm going to start making en masse for the school that I work at. So um, we're going to we're going to get started. Huh, Bruce? Yeah, bros. All right. 